Hey you beauties, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kevisha Unica. I am a certified dental assistant, pre-dental student, a mother, actress, activist, all of the above. I am multifaceted. In this video, we're gonna discuss my top five tips on how to prepare for the dental assisting program. So if I am looking down at my phone, I have my list here. My first tip to you will be to shadow at a dental office. If you are already seeing a dentist for your routine cleaning, that would be a great start because you already have built a relationship with this office. Asking them to come and shadow because you're interested in becoming an assistant will not be a problem, I'm sure. And the benefits of shadowing will be, you'll be able to see some procedures, you're gonna get exposure, you can build connections, do a little bit of networking. You can understand what your your job responsibilities are. You can see how we maintain infection control, a sepsis, and all that good stuff. And when I say this will be a great opportunity for you to build connections, if you're someone that may have issues with finances, and you will need to work throughout the program whether it be a day or two that would be a great way to get yourself out there and you possibly can see if they need like a sterilization tag somebody who can help clean rooms that would be a, a great opportunity for you so try that so definitely shadow 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 that exposure will be great for you and you get an understanding of the job responsibilities um infection control and maintaining a septus which is great so first thing first you want to do that just to make sure that this is exactly what you want to pursue and then my second tip to you will be doing your research you want to make sure that you are applying to a accredited program so definitely check the link in the description box below so you can see all the schools within the states that are accredited by the DAND, Danby, I will highly suggest you start there. And once you do find a college of your choice, you wanna check their curriculum. You want to know if you have to take any courses prior to applying into the program. You also want to look at the cost, you know, how much this program will cost you. You also wanna look at the duration of the program, whether it be like myself, I went into a program that was 16 months. It cost me approximately $8,000. Also, I want to look at important dates, which will be like application due dates, open houses, all that good stuff. You want to make sure you're watching procedurals to kind of introduce yourself to what you will be learning in the program. And lastly, it will be great to get familiar with the state requirement. My second tip to you will be making sure you are CPR certified because you cannot start this program without it. And my fourth tip to anyone interested in the program, I will say definitely start creating some good study habits, which means you've never been in a medical program before. If you've never taken a college science course or any course for that matter, you may want to go ahead and start working on your self-discipline and reading like try to set aside two to three hours a day to just say hey i'm gonna read and do this every day like just start there and create those good habits because this program is going to have a lot to do with memorization just retaining a lot of information and not ditching you can't retain and ditch the information because you will need everything you learn you will need it in the end and when you get in the field so it's just like you have to already have good study habits and my last step to you is to start buying some books that you will need in the program and beyond like for instance I will say go ahead and get one of these quick study guides because it gives you you know that basic knowledge that you will have to know forever like if you're in the field of dentistry you know you should know all of this from the back of your head everything in this quick study study guide so I actually bought this my first semester in the DA program and I kept it with me it was a good study tool it helped me a lot I still use it to this day it has the dental anatomy it has the tooth numbers which is really important so you want to start there for sure at least know your tooth numbers before your first day of class that would be good um, it shows you all the the muscles and another useful purchase will be the modern dental assisting 
textbook you will use this throughout your program and beyond I still look at this book to, the, to this day if I want to refresh on anything this is like the Bible of dental assisting you're also going to need the workbook start reading the textbook and start working on the work as well and in the dental instrument book as this pertains to your uniform or what you're going to wear obviously scrubs I have a favorite scrub brand that I can link down below that I find to be the most comfortable scrubs that I've ever worn and I've I've worn pretty much so many different brands this far I'm gonna also link some protective safety eyewear because that is also important you're gonna have to have that and you're gonna wear them not even just in school but when you are working you have to wear protective eyewear um, not all school provide eyewear they don't always provide um, your PPE which is personal protection equipment your scrubs you will have to go out there and get it so you can start purchasing those things in advance because you can always wear scrubs wherever you go it's not just in a clinical setting you can wear them anywhere they're comfortable you can also wear like a long sleeve shirt underneath your scrubs if you need that extra layer and you want to be cold, I mean, you don't want to be cold or anything like that, that is always good to start at. You will also need a stopwatch. If you All right, well, that is it. Those are my five tips on how you can prepare for the dental assisting program. If you have any specific questions, please list them down below. I would like to do a Q&A video. I hope this video inspire and help someone else and don't leave just yet make sure you check out my next video